start off with this the fluid accumulates underneath it. And then uh, what you've got is you've got a almost like a blister yeah, underneath the liquid bandage stuff, and it bursts, and then it's just a mess. The best thing is just light neospore and it stop it from shaking. But it works like a charm. Kills bacteria. We got Maverick and Poppy smells. spending the weekend boarding here at Hunters and Barn. Going to over all their details with Steve, their master. Yeah, she puts them on their ears so they don't bite ears. Raina sucks ears. Under here. Mr. Maverick gets, uh, uh, Mr. Maverick gets bit by Miss Poppy. You're getting a, uh, she is, a mama uh, lesson. Yeah, put, put every time, on, every time a on. female, when we're finished, by the time we what? give the puppies away, they got. You'll see. You can see it to, to date. Yeah. To date, it's still on there. Watch this. If he is, uh, well, you know, she doesn't have any bites. Watch. Bites like that on him, Watch. right? <laughs> mm -hmm. See? But uh, she, you see she it? gets his neck, yeah. That will stop, stop yep. it from biting the neck Just a little a bit. Just a like this. And it works. Now they will, uh, when they, they will Good. nap together, mm -hmm. but they don't sleep at night together, okay. right? Uh, okay. And sometimes poor Maverick wants to nap and Poppy's like, yeah, she's ready to go. I think what we'll do at a certain well, time at night, there. like you said, around 9, 10 o'clock, we'll go ahead and create a little pop-up. Show me your tongue. So you, if you look at his tongue, about a year ago, he bit a 9-volt battery. Oh, God. And he got acid burn on his gum and his tongue. <laughs> like on his, and uh, you know, I didn't know what was going on, and I found the battery. He was oh, drooling a lot. Uh -huh. And I looked in his mouth, and I saw the burns. I took him to Zoo. Yeah. And Dr. Zoo, you know, gave me stuff to spray in there, but uh, it's all healed up now. But he uh, probably lost five or six pounds because he didn't want he to couldn't eat. Well, he his, couldn't eat. Hurt his tongue and his gum. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did you put him on soft food? Uh, I softened his food up for him. Yeah. And, uh, Next time, give me a call. Okay, because she should have given you some CN. The critical nutrition, it comes in a, a can, it looks like cat food, okay. but there's 300 calories packed wow. in it. So they just, in a couple of gobbles, That's good to have in a handy. couple of gobbles, they get 300 yeah. calories in their it's body. It's just good to have handy. Yeah. You know? Just buy a case of it. Yeah, I don't think you guys have seen Maverick for about a year, have you? No, he's beautiful. Since he went to Africa the last time he bought it. Oh, that's right. We, yeah. you, when we went to Africa last year, yeah. that's yeah. when you guys saw him. Oh, yeah. Hey, Paparito. That's right, he's Gitto's kid. I keep saying Tola, but he's Gitto. Well, you're Gitto's boy, yeah. He's Gitto. Yeah. Gitto probably he's probably beautiful. Gitto probably bite you like, like crazy. Yes. Gitto's crazy. You don't oh, put Gitto with nobody. He'll bite you like crazy, yeah. yeah. I don't know who you... Last time he was... Last time I brought him over for visit, I remember he played with Raina, because Raina was little. Yeah. And he played a little bit with Albert, but even Albert was bullying him. Yeah. He's yeah. Not, he is a... He is very... He's not an alpha dog. He is. He is how does he get? To, how does he get along with other male dogs? As far as I know. Like if you go, well, have you ever taken him to a park or anything? Let me tell I have. You, he has and what? What is that? What's his reaction around the male uh, dogs? Sniff him. They oh, yeah. sniff him over. He he hangs out. He'll yeah. he'll he meets a bulldog, a male French bulldog, uh -huh. when uh, we're walking, and they just kind of sniff each other. But uh, he'll lay down because he's still on. I don't know what I'll do on leash, after off leash with a male dog, but on leash he'd lay down and let the bulldog sniff him over, and then he'd hop up and he'd sniff the bulldog over himself. Hey, let's bring him into the uh, the, the kennel real quick and introduce him to him with Steve. Yeah, come on. Okay, you you grab Poppy, Minnie, and he 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 he, he grab Maverick. Do this. Don't let him fool you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he has that hunt. He has hunt. Oh, yeah. Right so we got leads all up here, too. So let's just let Steve introduce him to the, the kennel. So believe it or not, when these dogs are professionally trained for tracking, the trainer has to find the, the stash first, has to show the Rhodesian Ridgeback, the real good trainers, that... They show the Rhodesian Ridgeback that they know how to do it. I've been slacking. Yeah. Working with them. Well, 
Alright, come on, buddy. You're doing a great job, Steve. We'll, we'll get everything going, but. Look, we'll, Poppy says, I'll show you how it goes. I do walk them. I walk them every day. Uh, I wouldn't. So I usually, he has a. I usually walk them with the nose. We're going to introduce them to the uh, boarding kennels now. This is our routine when people come to board their Ridgeback puppies that were born here. Okay, yeah, I thought this might be a good idea that you come in. Alright. you guys. Poppy already knew which one to go into. Yeah. Three doors open and went into hers. Look at her. She's checking it out to see if everything's okay. Yeah. With sound. Now that's a nice bed. This is uh, was actually so like Rev comments. This crate is from a rescue husky we had about 20 years ago. You see that crate? Isn't that nice? You don't have to deal with the screws. It's still. It's got a yeah. turn handle on it. It's still in good shape. They don't uh, make them like that no more. It's. Oh, that's perfect. It's too just a touch too small for Mavericks, and I actually think Mavericks. Crate at home is a touch too big, but uh, so I'm not going to get her a crate the same size as Mavericks. But this is where she sleeps, and uh, she rode a lot better in the car in that over here than she did the other day, just sitting in the back. Do you close the door at night? Or I do close the door at night. Yeah, uh, we're a crate her at night. Yeah. And like full breath, uh, she goes to bed. Is she okay in here? Yeah. She'll be okay in the crate with him. I don't know how they use it well enough. Yes. Okay. I don't know how they, like, if you had them both in here uh -huh. and that was open. No. I, I think she'd end up sleeping next to him. But I don't know what they would do, what kind of mission they do. We're, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to. They do, they do like to wrestle. Yeah, we're not going to challenge that. So I uh, told Rev, she will, he will go to bed at 9.30. He's ready to just. Yeah. Whoop, yeah. If, her Here, let's lock them in there a second and see how they react. And she will. Come on, Ma. She will go come to on, bed Ma. between 9 30 oh, and 10 yeah. 30. Come on, come on, and, baby. Uh, but that's, that's our schedule, right? Come on. Yeah, that's come okay. Well, Poppy. But they'll re pop, they don't forget pop, pop, their pop, schedule. Pop, pop. Come on, pop, pop. There you go. Oh, okay, let's see how oh, they react wrong. to me. We're going to put Maverick over here on this side. Oh, no, no. They're going to be fine together. I mean, together. Maverick. Wiggly. 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 Yeah, uh, Wrigley's been in AKC shows and everything else, so I'm thinking that there's not going to be any barking and screaming going on. But so Maverick is not a big barker. He barks to warn me that someone's in the yard. Like the long guy comes by, he barks to let me know there. Or if he sees someone go by the front door, he barks. Or if he's out in the backyard and he sees someone walk, you know, he'll see someone walk through the fence. Like a Does she have to go pee -pee? I think she has to go pee-pee. I don't know if she has gone. Nah. Okay. So just checking things out, just like one of the... She's probably the master, but yeah. I don't know if she's back here or not. Where's your water bowl? He, he forgot the bowl, so we're going to oh, bring, yeah, we're, yeah, we're bring, we'll bring yeah, a bucket. In a bucket to, uh, we're going to get attachments for yeah. this. They don't have that panel anymore. Yeah, they quit the selling it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I went to Tractor Supply to buy to buy the this part, which is a swing with the the bowl attachments. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just sold the last ones for nine dollars. I said, "What? I couldn't have only got them. I could have got them for nine dollars. They cost me seventy when I bought that one out right. there." Yeah. But the iron guy that's doing all this stuff, he can do anything. He's really good. Yeah. We're gonna also secure this top up here. Even though it's good and solid, yeah. we're going to secure it with crossbars here, 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 and here. So we don't have. They don't really care, but. Oh, but it's something for them. Dad, what's going on? Dad, what's going on? I think I'm being left behind. Yes, yes. So, oh, yeah. so look, if you look at his tongue, you can see the scar. It's right over his lower canine, the pants. On this that's, side? That's where the battery On this side? 
That's on the left side. It's on this side? No, it's on the other side. So, the, uh, this side, right. Yeah, I, I, I just side, saw right, it. Right, you can kind of just see the shadow of it right here. Right there. Right it's, underneath that. That's where it burned and saw it. How do you get into the acid part? Uh, a battery got knocked off. Ah, uh, and it got on the on the ground. Uh, on the ground, you right picked it up, you bit it, and you dropped it. Wow. The, and he survived it. He is not interested in batteries. Or batteries anymore. anymore at all. But that's how they learn. Well, that's how, believe it or not, the batteries used for poison proofing dogs. Yeah. We'll be he, doing, when we get the YouTube channel going, we'll be doing that. You you take the, the battery and you connect wire, oh, both yeah. wires to a piece of meat. Ah, yeah. And they come up and they go to eat the meat. And, zzz, and guess what? Yeah, Nobody the, uh, can feed them nothing no more but you. Yes. Fuck it. A friend of mine I know online trains dogs, you know, or has trained dogs, but uh, he teaches his dogs uh, not to take any food from anybody, from anybody that's but right. them and with a, with a word, right? That's right. So they won't, they won't eat. He's got Australian, like his little catalogs. He loves his little catalogs. Yeah. He's trained all kinds of dogs, but that's the kind of dog he loves. And, uh, he'll have his dogs trained up so they won't eat unless it's on them too, and they won't drink. And they'll, if they're thirsty and they're like walking along in the stream, right. the dog will look at them and he'll say, okay, you drink, or whatever phrase he uses, and the dog will drink. Cool. And, uh, is he here in Houston? Area? He, is, he used to be, you know, the, uh, God, there's, the people who do the Star Mark stuff at yeah. the Academy up in Dallas. Right. He used to work with them 20 years ago, and then oh. he uh, got it. He's, so he, he's in Dallas? No, he is in Minnesota. Right he's now. in Minnesota. Yeah, oh, okay. And he doesn't. He just does his own dogs. He's a uh, corporate recruiter now. Sharp guy. Okay, folks, that's your uh, experience of how we bring dogs into the boarding kennels at Hunterson Farms. Good boy, Maverick. And see you on the next video. That's Maverick. And Poppy boarding for the weekend at Hunterson Farms. That's a little setup. All right, guys.